Hello everyone and welcome back to the second tutorial in the custom actions series for Power Automate Desktop. I hope that you have taken care of the prerequisites and you have your IDE installed with the latest version of Power Automate Desktop. So that being said, let me quickly launch my IDE. So let me try to create a project. But before creating a project, we need to take care of some prerequisites. The first prerequisite would be to go ahead and install the NuGet packages. So let's go to the create custom module article and let's see the ways of installing the templates or the NuGet packages. The first option would be to go to NuGet.org and download it right here. However, the option tool looks easier. You can run the command using the Visual Studio Packet Manager. So let me copy it and let me try to install it using the Package Manager. So if you are new to Visual Studio, you can just say Package Manager in the search and this should help you get the Package Manager console. So the console is visible out here. You can just paste this in and install this template. Once the templates are installed, you can use this template to create a new project. So how do we go ahead and create a new project? So I can click on file, I can click on new and I can click on new project. Here my friends, you'll see two samples or two templates. I'm going to use the first one. I'll click on next. I'll go and give this a meaningful name. Let's say that it is 31. I'll click on next. I don't want to create a test project. I'll give the mo module ID as 31 again. And this should create my project in Visual Studio. Perfect. So the project has been created. So the most important code is written in action.cs. But here my friends, as soon as I try to launch it, I get a number of errors out here. First and foremost, it does not recognize the SDK nor does it recognize the attributes. So we need to fix this first, right? Before getting into the project, we need to at least fix the project such that it can be built. So that being said, what I can do is I can click here, right click and I'll say open in file explorer. This will open my project in file explorer. So next, I want to open PowerShell. I have opened PowerShell as an administrator. And what I'll do is that I'll change the path in my PowerShell, do a CD and change the path out here. Right? So the path is the path where my project resides. Most importantly, it's the path where my C sharp project file with an extension CS project or CS proj resides. Okay, so this should be the path. Once I have this path in my PowerShell, what I can do is I can copy a command. Now the command would be .NET add package Microsoft dot power platform dot power automate dot desktop dot action dot SDK and install the latest version. So this is the command I need to run. I'll just go ahead and run this command. It's going ahead and installing the prerequisites and most importantly, there were no errors. So if I go back to the project now, module 31 and click on actions.cs, all the errors are gone. Isn't that awesome? So at this point, you have created your first project, Power Automate Custom Actions in Power Automate Desktop. In the next tutorial, we'll go and understand the various parts of this project. Once you have a better understanding of this project, we will go ahead, package this project and publish it in the cloud and later use it in Power Automate Desktop. I hope this tutorial was informative. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.